how do you not go broke after becoming rich? Well, by just not being a retard. Look, how do you go broke? By just spending all your money. It's, it's really a straightforward question. Just don't spend all your money. Most of the guys actually I know, once they make a lot of money, they'll just literally pack their bags, just travel everywhere, everywhere go to clubs. I have friends who should have dropped like 10 grand in the club and then they come up to him like, yo bro, are you fucking stupid or something? Why did you drop that much money inside the club? There's no equity in that. Yeah, exactly. The way you actually never ever go broke after you made money is by investing it back into assets and things that will grow your money long term. A lot of people they go out and they start buying liabilities. And actually, in my opinion, the worst thing you can buy after you make money is experiences because you can never ever get that money back ever. Even let's say you just go on a yacht, just spend a bunch of money. That's one experience and then you never get the money back. You should literally, I, I even recommend just buy clothing, buy materials, buy a new laptop. At least you have something in your hands. At least there's some sort of tangible equity that you exactly. can use for at least some short period of time. Yeah. Say it's a coat. Buy a Rolex. At least if you go completely broke, you know you got fucking 20 grand your wrist, you sell that shit. But spending it on experience, clubs, chicks, that's stupid. I think that's the main way that people actually end up going broke. 100%. Yeah, 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 for sure. Because you it gets out of control so quickly you get sucked into that lifestyle, especially down here in Miami. And then I'm, you want to keep up that lifestyle because you think you're the big shit now. Yeah, it's like, I mean, when you have a Rolls Royce and a Lambo and, and, a, and a Bentley truck, you can just sell it. You, yeah, you it, never, it can't go broke. Can it's impossible. Like, you know? yeah. yeah, that's a great point because really everyone has their story of getting rich. There's just not one way to get rich. You can do it your way, but all the principles are the same. Like you said, you first need like money to invest in yourself. That can be getting a job. I mean, literally, if you're like super, super broke, let's say you're like a broke 18 year old, you can maybe like get your mom just literally have her plan explain why and how you're going to spend the money that you're going to get from her explain what the end result is have an actual plan present it to her and please, be like hey mom can you front me the money can, you, can you i can, get a loan from yeah you, and I'll pay you, back. you can get a loan exactly or you just get a job and then what i personally would do that's how what I, how i made it i searched and seeked out people that i saw were hyper successful in their field and basically what i did is i gave them money in the mentorship and then i was like just teach me exactly what you do and then i just replicate a lot of people think like you need to be the next Mark Zuckerberg, the next Jeff Bezos to make a bunch of money. That's not true. What you literally just have to do is pick one business, replicate it, do it as well as you can, and then preferably a business where you don't need money to make money. Those are the worst businesses. Like dropshipping, I don't like drop. I used to do dropshipping. I went completely broke because you need money to make money. You gotta have like 20, 30K just to start something out. The yeah. best thing you can do actually, in my opinion, is a service-based business. Something where you're like, hey, look, I can do X for you, even for free for a while, and you just pay me in the additional percentage that I make for you. I'll do a free, free trial, you see if you like it, and if you like it, then you pay me. Because now you don't need money to make money. You just need your time and your dedication. But best find, really truly, find a mentor because then you're gonna not do all the errors that you would be doing otherwise. Find a mentor, literally. If it's like a, a coaching that costs three grand lifetime, just be like, hey, here's the three grand. Teach me and just reach out to him every single day, every week, have calls with him, and make sure you get it done perfectly. And if you're not a dickhead, you're gonna make money. That, that's how it was for me, truly.